Uh, I'm gonna close from. And let's get started then. Okay. Hey everyone and welcome back to Dongon Rampa V3 Killing Harmony. Let me move my mic. Sorry for the moving noises. There we go. Am I in the frame correctly? It seems so. Hi. It's uh It's time to do the first half of the class trial. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Skills. I don't think, do I have any more? Yeah, I didn't get any more points. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep it at this. It's just gonna, this is, this is fine. Um, yeah, begin class trial. Ahem, now then. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. It's gonna go down. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Okay. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. Nice. We'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Uh, seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face, killer. This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Did he just call out who is the murderer? <laughs> As oh. for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good at all. Given these circumstances, I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. God damn it. <laughs> After all, It'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving. Please let Kaito be alive. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure. If we don't positively identify the victim, The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Yeah. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone think everyone thinks Kaito is the victim. Why did I have trouble reading that line? Everyone thinks Kai that Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. It's been the end of a... It's the end of a long day. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. 
Oh gosh, dang. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! You lost a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. The victim has to be Kaito. Whatever he wanted. I dropped inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. That's Didn't wrong. get the V. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes. And look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. No. Maki, have you gotten dumb? Y yeah, that's right. It's one of those no. irrefutable evidence thingies. Someone could have just put that coat in. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that insisted that it is that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe in Kaito. She'd want to believe Kaito is still alive. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. That's sleeve. It. Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? If Kaido had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. Yeah. <laughs> There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? Don't kill that logic, please. Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. I'll... Rebuttal Showdown. The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito, if you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. Maki, we look even more murderous than usual. I need to do well with this debate. Or I think she's actually going to kill me. The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito, if you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. 
If you understand the be quiet already. Otherwise, you're getting in the way. There's blood on it. And like a, a pin through it. Like that kid, pin couldn't have gone through it if he wasn't wearing that jacket sleeve. He's wrong. We can't conclude Kaito is dead on that evidence. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. I'll cut through your words! Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Okay, then that's maybe we... neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. That's all she wants. She's fixated on that. Maki. What's really going on? It seems you've made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. Why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because she can't see. She doesn't want the truth to be Kaito having killed Kokichi. She does not want to see Kaito die. Be executed. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. In which case, the... The execution could be a throwback to the first game. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! He was in the red one the entire time. I knew it. It's gonna be Kaito, isn't it? An Exosol? What? Why is an Exosol here? Haha, <laughs> whoops. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an Exosol and kind of dozed off. That was it? What? <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? What the fuck? That's kind of nuts. Like, really nuts. Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! No. <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kokichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. There's a voice modulator on that thing. It's not gonna let us know who the actual person is. Wow, that's old. How like, old are you? That, that voice modulator, not even a modulator, it's it's a, a creator. I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. 
Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. Holy oh, shit, you almost spoiled something. <laughs> Don't do that, please. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. What, what did you say? All righty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? It's not going to be decisive evidence. He wants to keep this exciting. Roger that! And he played the tape for us. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this... I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. I'm gonna... By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. Oh, shut up! This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause buttons so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy! See? If it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible! Which means this footage is 100% real! If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Thank you. Kat Katrine Valentine 22. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Holy fuck. The murder video has been recorded in the monopad. Oh, I don't like this. But something's not right. Was that? Was that really him? Oh, poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. I can't believe he died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. No, I'm starting to not feel well, you idiot! That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my barf over to you. I know that's a joke, but the thought of it why? Why was Kaito killed? Kichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us all that he was the mastermind. The killing game is over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. <laughs> what? 
Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? He wants to kill us all because it would be despairful this way. Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? Again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. Oh, no. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? No. Is it okay that this trial was so short? No. That's fine. We knew from the very start no! that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. He may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes this in isn't and right. to the crime and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for this situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said! I'm actually not the culprit! Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yepers, that was a lie. Sorry. I lied again. And again, and again, and I lied again! Oops, did I just lie? The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage! It made the game more interesting, too. Oh, right! Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine. Because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. It did not. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Oh no. I was, I was thinking that may not have been Kaito. So like he was still in the bathroom or something? Because only synthetic stuff, like not hu non-human things, can be crushed. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Squish. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is... Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. Um, and Kaito's killer. Uh, 
Is that even possible? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. That's wrong! That's not right. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. A safety function? Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if yeah. its infrared sensor detects a living organism. I f feel like... No, I did set it to five last time. Never mind. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro... No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. Yeah. What? Yeah. There's a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. I meant around Are the hydraulic strong? press. Okay. Um. Oh. This is it! Yeah. There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Hmm. Oh! That was the restroom where Kaido was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests a cause of death. There! There we go. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. The, the small hole? No, no, no! There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Yeah, Himiko. Um, I'm not freaking out. You only brought the fucking crossbow to the scene. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. Kite, the weapon that left that small hole in Kaito's sleeve. This is it! I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> she's freaking out! <laughs> a crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? 
If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know. But I he's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? Yeah, he doesn't remember those things. He is not even... I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? He hasn't seen the flashback who light. You could have done it. The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't barrier, the barrier, barrier, barrier. <laughs> if Luigi had been in there, then he must be the one. That's, I'm that's Luigi, great. So I'm the culprit. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier in the way. That wasn't it. You can get near the shutter. Uh. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier in the way. Yeah, no, that doesn't prove anything. Um, I'm confused. I, I think maybe it's not that statement. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar, okay. Kaito. That's it. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Hey, shut up! Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. What are you trying to pull, Maki? You're always suspicious of your friends. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, Someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. It's already won. Over you. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me. Right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole, too? See? Now that 
is mm. definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> well, really? You, you went, went to the, to the hangar, hangar Himiko? Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. If you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. What? Th that crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. face at me. Uh, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Maki too! They're both the culprit! <laughs> oh god, Gonta's sign is like high up because, well, he was large. Jesus. Oh. Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. No, mass panic debate. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. He's twins. Maybe I'm the, the culprit. Mass panic debate. Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. If I you are the culprit. What do you mean? Did you explain the crossbow? There's a good I know I could have gotten it from your research lab. So I went then there and found the number one suspect. Kokichi was the one who shot Kaito. There we go. We got our evidence. Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. If I you are the culprit, my magic. What do you did mean? you explain the crossbow? Magic. There's a good know, magic source around there. So I went then there and found the number one suspect. Almost missed. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed. But that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's, it's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Th no! That was probably... Tsumugi cosplaying as me! Nope. Cospox. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character? Himiko. This is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's... the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carrying. <laughs> she hasn't done it. Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh-oh. Well, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't so shoot it! Shigario. It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! <laughs> That is true. Can we really just trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. Himiko doesn't have it in her. I'm not the culprit! Yeah, 
I totally agree. I only carried the case. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm-hmm, another true statement. And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! 100% exact, Amundo! Shut up, Why Kokiji! You sound so fishy! Ah, cause Kokiji won't shut up! <laughs> 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 yep, yeah, it's all my fault! <laughs> Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm-hmm, another true statement. And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! 100% exact! I don't know the answer. Why am I doing that? Oh, they got me points. <coughs> I'm not the culprit. Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. No, that's not it. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm hmm another true statement. And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! 100% exact, Amundo! Why does this all sound so fishy? Ah, cause Kokichi won't shut up! Get out of my head, Kokichi! I'm not the culprit! Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. Damn it! That's true too. Are you kidding me? Fucking no! And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! 100% exact! Found on the floor of the hangar's bathroom. The tips of all three arrows are wet with blood. I'm not seeing the logic right now. The all wet with blood. Hmm. Why does this all sound so fishy? Oh, whoops. Ah, cause Kokichi won't shut up! Get out of my head, Kokichi! Um, oh, hold on, this one. The disassembled crossbow from the Ultimate Assassin's Research Lab. It was stored in a large black case. It was complicated to assemble and would be difficult for anyone who hasn't ta been taught how. I'm not the culprit! What? I totally agree. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm-hmm, another true statement. And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! Uh. I'm not the culprit! Yeah, I totally agree. Got it. I, agree. I thought I, I thought I said I was wrong the first time, but I wasn't. I just missed. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she, she couldn't, couldn't use, use it. it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. I think well, Kaito. What did. if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? She didn't teach me that, right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me, so I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. I'm 
sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Okay. Then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Perhaps the person who asked was... Kaito Momota. That's it! Was it... Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Nah, -uh. I hate you. <laughs> but I like you. Oh, dude, no! Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. What? Himiko? I should think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry. I'll do something about the about all this. That's a promise. Oh, you guys are working so hard. So I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Yeah. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. <laughs> I wet myself a little. Um, that one part was a... Uh... You know what? Never mind. Yeah. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I, I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorms. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, I don't think that's the case. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. Yeah. And there's proof of that. This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. And they were bloody too, so Kokichi should still be bloody if he is still alive. So Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? 
It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. Mm. I've been sitting like this the entire time. But that doesn't get me in the frame right. <laughs> Sorry. Let's play like this. And in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Mm-hmm. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are, there still, are still mysteries. mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit Maki, is. Maki, stop! You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside yeah. that Exosol? Stuff like that. Oh, that's really a bad timing. I'll be right back, guys.
What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! The Luminary of the Stars has arrived! This time for real! What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito! I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't... ever call me that! Whoa there, chill! You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! All right, let's give it everything we've got! I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I've got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Maki! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Maki! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I've got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes, too. I 
want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind, but... Maki! The Mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... what do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So, if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then! Let the debate begin! When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? As if you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. So how could they both shoot each other? By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. So how could they both shoot each other? By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito. Took the crossbow and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one person. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one hour. That's wrong! Wait, Himiko. What do you mean, one arrow? 
Hmm? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so... Are you positive? Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? He wanted to avoid fighting. Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Yeah. 
Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. should have been completely closed off, right? Smith, the Exosaw. The Exosaw could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosaws, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosaw. I saw an Exosaw enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an access hole? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an access hole. After all, the hangar is where the access holes are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said? A third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? But... Can just anyone pilot an Exosol? Well, Kokichi... It's surprisingly easy! If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Nipples, too! Anyway, this third party commandeered an Exosol. 
and infiltrated the hangar. You guys have not been hearing me this entire time. Damn it. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I don't think I said much. I said some thoughts out loud. You you missed that. Damn it, and I can't really think of what it is. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? Damn. If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we no, you just gotta use your nipples! Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still... Re recharging. There's no way to stop an Exosol. Something inside one would have been impossible. You're right, it's impossible! It's not impossible. There's one way to stop an Exosol. And I have to show them. If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. Got him! Maki didn't have her electro hammer. Maki Wait, did not have her electric hammer. were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Is that electro hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? Not yet. Quick, soon. Have you showered yet? Okay. Soon. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wrap this up quickly, so... <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? Identity of the third party? The Electro Hammer gives us a clue. I saw four Exosols at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaito. This morning, when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were three. The culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do that. I'm sorry, Maki. But you're up. It's you! Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. 
But be careful, the Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Maki, where's your Electro Hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. This is much better. A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an Electro Hammer, wasn't she? Yep. Knowing that, the Electro Hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosaw with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after- I'll kill your logic. Oh jeez, she is actually angry now. Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an Exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! I believe that. You're right. I used the Electro Hammer. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. Oh. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. It's no use. She's not listening to me at all, but I can't back down here. You're right. I used the Electro Hammer. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Advance! The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. I don't want to think that Maki is the culprit. I want to believe her. The way she's scrambling to defend herself. The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots. Shit. Oh no! I was so close! I couldn't do it! I'm being pushed back! You're right. I used the Electro Hammer. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Advance. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Can Therefore, I advance further? I'm not the culprit. The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow Shit. to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. 
The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on a- Are you kidding bar. me? An arrow to each of those spots? Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. There's no advance. The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Are That's you kidding me? The crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Huh, you never used a weapon before, so how would you know? Oh no! I made a mistake! I need to think it over again! The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. I'll cut through your words! It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit, if it were poisoned. The poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you... really the culprit? Th there's no way she is! Cause... Why would she kill Kaito? Uh, I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... Sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be... All of us. That's it! She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Are we gonna kill ourselves? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. 
Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? You think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. <sighs> So, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Don't just start narrating things, you're ruining the mood! <clears throat> well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. And this is the intermission! We made it. <laughs> I need to leave quickly. So thank you guys all so much for watching. See you guys next time. I will save it right here quickly. Here we go. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Okay. Rip, you just got here. Oh, I'm sorry. But if you're here tomorrow at the same time, at 8, uh, no, probably 7.